In this video, we want to see if g of x is continuous or differentiable. First, let's graph this function. When x is less than 2, we have the line y equals 2x, and when x is greater than or equal to 2, we have the function y equals x squared. Now, since the line y equals 2x and x squared are polynomials, we know that they're going to be continuous for x less than 2 and x greater than 2. But now the question is, what happens at x equals 2? So this is what we're interested in looking at. So in order for the function to be continuous, the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x has to equal g of 2. So first let's quickly evaluate g of 2. We want to see which part of this piecewise function is x equals 2 part of. That's obviously going to be the bottom one since x is greater than or equal to 2. So we're going to plug it into x squared and get that g of 2 is 4. Now in order to evaluate the limit, we're going to look at first the left hand limit and the right hand limit. For the left hand limit, we're going to be looking at when x is less than 2, because that's to the left of x equals 2. And for that, that's going to be a function y equals 2x. So I plug in 2 in here and we get 4. Now we're going to look at the right hand limit. As x approaches 2 from the right, that means x is going to be greater than or equal to 2. So we're looking at the function x squared. So plugging 2 again, we get 4. So the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x is 4. Now putting it together, we said that g of 2 was 4 and the limit is 4. So g of x is continuous. So since 2x and x squared are polynomials, they are going to be differentiable for x less than 2 and x greater than 2. Again, we want to see what happens at this point here. So you want to see if the left hand and right hand derivatives are the same. Well first, let's take the derivative. The derivative of 2x is going to be 2, and that's going to be for x less than 2. And the derivative of x squared is 2x for x greater than or equal to 2. So now we want to evaluate this at x equals 2. So the left hand derivative will be the derivative of 2, or of 2x rather and that's 2. The right hand derivative is when x is greater than or equal to 2, that's 2x. But if I plug in x equals 2 there, I get 4. So the left hand derivative is 2, the right hand derivative is 4, therefore g of x is not differentiable. So we conclude that g of x is not differentiable, but is continuous. 